Oh wow! This is our surprise for today, and you guys should prepare a lot of your questions. Oh wow! Hello. I would like to hug you. Can I just do that? Oh my God! I feel like he's my son. Oh my God! Thank you so much. Your father. Where is your father? Oh yeah. Your father should be really proud of you. Yes. Okay. You good? Yes. Nice. So, uh, hi everybody, I'm Mohammed Yunus Sharhabil and today I'm going to present two topics to you guys which are, first one is how to be an exceptional presenter. Uh, I read a book about it by uh, Timothy J. Kogel. So, and the second topic is going to be some English learning skills. So, topic number one, uh, which is how to be an exceptional presenter. First of all, what is an exceptional presenter? So, an exceptional presenter is a great storyteller that puts those stories in the learning points that are important based on the audience. So, you, you say, uh, he has a story, he puts the little bit of the story that is most important in the learning points that are big, so he can fit whatever he says into a story. And he mu the great presenter, the exceptional presenter, should always have the synonyms, which are extraordinary, outstanding, perfect, amazing, etc. And an exceptional, great, amazing presenter should uh, open up and own the room. So, open up. Open up is an acronym. It is divided to six characteristics. O-P-E-N-U-P. -P. So, O is for organized, P is for passionate, E is for engaging, N is for natural, U is for understanding his audience, and P is practice. So number one, organize. Uh, organize. His messages are well structured and they're clearly defined. So you understand what he's saying. Uh, number two, which is passionate. So he speaks from the heart and he doesn't lie and he doesn't show his laziness. He shows his energy to you so you don't get bored while watching him. And number three is engaging. So engaging, engaging, he engages his audience. Like he says, how many people here has Instagram or who is interested in biological stuff? He engages them, he gives them the opportunity to, uh, it's like what uh, Bahmed did. He gave you guys the opportunity to ask questions. That's engaging the audience. So we did O, P, E, now N. N stands for natural. So, natural. He has his own natural style of communicating with the people. He presents normally. Uh, he, he shows his confidence. He's, un he's comfortable with any crowd. So, uh, now you, understanding his audience. His audience. He has to get a certain amount of knowledge, a significant amount of knowledge, before presenting his presentation. So he has to know if they're interested in what he's about to speak. He has to know uh, how many people are gonna be there. At least some knowledge about his audience before presenting his presentation. Now P, practice. Who practices improves and who doesn't, doesn't. Practice is the most important part because practice is necessary for everything. When you practice to play soccer, you practice to present, to present. You practice for everything. And by practicing, you can overcome owning the room. So this is step two, own the room. So owning the room is expected from a professional speaker, from a professional presenter. And he has professionalism. Why? because he has his own style, his own way of communicating with the audience, and he shows his confidence as usual. What is professionalism, you might say? So, professionalism is like when he shows every single bit of confidence he has. He is no worried, he's not worried no matter what, 
and he's just outstanding. And now, that was topic number one. And, okay, so now it's topic number two, English learning skills. So, before... <laughs> Thank you so much. So, topic number two. Uh, so, topic number two is English learning skills, which is English learning tips, sorry. <laughs> so, uh, there are four skills that you need to know before learning English and before I give you your tips or skills or anything. So, these skills are listening and reading, speaking and writing. As you can know, I've divided them into two who are inputs and two who are outputs. So input, what does input mean? Input means that you do it on the inside. It's like mental health and physical health. So mental health is listening and reading. And physical health, when you see, people see you when you do it, which is speaking and writing. They see you speak like you guys are seeing me, and they see you write like if someone writes on the board. Now, some tips on listening. So you've got to listen always to podcasts before going to sleep. That is the best way to improve your listening skill. And you also should uh, not listen to music if trying to improve your listening skill because music just uh, is just a rhythm. No offense if you're a musician. It's a rhythm that keeps your flow. It's used to relax, but it's not used to remember. So to remember anything, you got to listen to it and repeat and repeat and repeat before going to sleep. That's the best way because your brain is, um, is ready to go. It, it hears the last few stuff before it goes to sleep. And then it remembers them because it was the last things they hear. Unlike us humans, uh, when we hear good night, we don't remember it in the morning. <laughs> so now that was listening. Uh, speaking. So, you gotta maintain listening. So, if I say you, we did listening, we did speaking, we did reading, we did writing, you have to first maintain the first skill before it, or the first few skills before it. So, uh, speaking. So, speaking is like what I'm doing here. Well, first, before you start even though speaking, you've gotta first listen. Then you repeat what you hear. So, and you listen and you repeat, and then you gotta understand what you're saying. Because if you don't understand what you're saying, what's the point of speaking? You gotta understand it. And, well, you listen or repeat, that's one thing. But practicing with the other people, uh, you, like, you wanna learn English? You practice with the native speakers. You wanna learn British? You practice with British speakers. Because practicing, as I said, in how to be an exceptional presenter is necessary for everything. So, now, you listen and repeat, and you practice with other people. Now, when you say practice, I don't mean like you speak, you speak, and then you don't remember it at all. You have to remember what you speak about. Because if you don't remember what you speak, if you don't remember anything you talk about, what's the point of even speaking? at all. So, <laughs> and now, so reading. You can listen to and repeat, as I said, when we say reading, you've got to listen and speak and then you can read. You can listen to reading podcasts while learning how to read a book, because there are. Uh, that's why I said listening to podcasts right before going to sleep. Because you know the word, you know how it's pronounced before going to sleep. Because tomorrow you'll remember it. And it's easy for us human brains. Uh, so, you got to listen, repeat, listen, repeat, and read. Listen, repeat, and read. Reading, you can read some books, like the book that I told you guys about uh, by uh, Timothy J. Kogel. Uh, you can read books... Uh, like Steve Hawkins, Native Son, Black Boy. Uh, I know some books. Uh, so, now to writing. So, writing is very much the easiest part. Because I like writing a lot. Because it's giving passion to your hands. Like soccer is giving passion to your feet. So, writing is easy. If you can draw, you can write. 
the one thing that I have to maintain better. I write, but when I write, it kind of shakes my hand. Uh, that's something that I'm looking to practice. So you got to write. So writing is really important, especially if you're a student in um, academies. Well, you have to write in the test, obviously. So tips on writing. First, when you're on the seat that you're about to write on, so you're sitting on there, if you're not comfortable with the place, of course you're not going to write uh, perfectly. And you got to uh, grab your pencil or pen or whatever you're writing with in the correct way. Uh, and you got to use the right ways to write because write, write. <laughs> so you got to use the perfect way to write. And that is, depends on the hand you write with. Because some people write with left arms, some people write with right arms. So you gotta grab it and you gotta be comfortable. And first, you got to listen, repeat, read, then write. That, as I said. And as I said, exactly, listening, repeating, reading, then writing. Because if you listen to the podcast, you speak out the podcast, you know how the word is done, you know how the word is written while reading, you can write it easily. Thank you very much. Oh, wow. That was so good. That Thank was you. so amazing. That was so fantastic. What's your word for the boy? Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, boy. Oh, wow. A lot of the time I look at these people and they say, where, they, where were they before? And uh, you think you're really small when you see people like that. So, mashallah. Thanks. Yeah, that's the word for it. No fantastic, no adorable, no mind blowing. Any questions? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I guess I, I wasn't a doing that for, for purpose, but this guy yeah. gigs. Man. Man, I, I, I'm, I'm actually out of words because you say a lot of great things. I have only one question, I guess. Why you're great? Or how come? Uh, okay, I'm not great, first of all. Oh, because wow. I haven't maintained the, face, the language man. first. Uh, I know how to speak. But I don't know everything about it. I don't know psychological. I don't know philosophy. I don't know poems. I don't know anything. I only know how to speak. Man, you're doing a great job, believe it or not. You're doing a great job. Yes. So I have someone here who's so excited to say, to say something to you and to the audience. What about and actually, me? What about me? Yeah, come on, man. Come you're, on, man. you're the one who presents. You're the interviewer. You're the host. All right. So let's welcome, yeah, Mr. I call him Mr. Tupac oh, because wow, he, Tupac. Yeah, he looks like Tupac. But yeah. Please give it up for Tupac. Yeah. Mr. Musa, come with yeah. Hello, if you want to move the space, please. Yeah, this is, yeah, this is Believe it. me, this is the first time I'm on a stage. So uh, don't judge me, okay? So uh, I was about to ask a question. He's from the other side. No. Uh, I was like dreaming of something. I have to see it in my own eyes. I will ask you a question. Oh my God, that's so good, man. Okay. Sure. Tell me I'm not dreaming. Can someone come up here and pinch him? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> You're oh not my dreaming. goodness. It's real, it's okay. real. Okay, okay. This guy, this guy got me twice. MashaAllah. Okay. Uh, so uh, when he was talking, I was just thinking about my previous uh, English teachers. So uh, they was like, talking and trying to explain the lesson. I was like, no, there is no way you're gonna get this lesson. But when I see this phenomenon, it means something incredible. Believe me, if I'm the president right now, I will give you whatever you want. Oh, wow. Thanks. Just ask, just pretend I'm the president and I'm going to give you whatever you want. Inshallah. Okay, just... All I want is peace. Okay, you got peace. <laughs> you got it. So, uh, what, is your, what is your daddy? What is your daddy? Raise your hand. Okay. You're so blessed. So blessed. Thank you so much. Uh, actually, I was speechless when I came. I, I don't know how I'm, am I talking right now. i still speechless, but I have to say this word. You're something else. You are not from this world. You're something else. You're incredible. 
you astonishing, wonderful, awesome, fabulous, fantastic. MashaAllah. Well, you see, you're outstanding because you had the confidence to come up here, too. Okay, nobody did tell me this before. <laughs> so I have to believe it. Uh, actually, you remind me about someone who is uh, Steve Harvey. Who knows Steve Harvey? Yeah, okay. So, uh, you know, you know the real one, and this is the young one. <laughs> Simply. Thanks. Oh, wow. Thank you. I really. Oh, wow. Thank, Thank you so much. So much. <sighs> I don't want to jump and ask him a question because this is your time to ask him questions, especially for the young kids. And I, yeah. Actually, I have oh, wow. a question. You guys are coming to the stage, you know, the previous. Even the previous, you know, guests are gonna be really common. You know, on. you got I me, mean, you're a little kid. You're not a kid. You're more than a kid. Uh, I'm still 11, so. <laughs> uh, you know, the first time that I was public speaker, I was 10 years old. How old are you? Uh, 11, so that's good for you. Yeah, exactly, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> you got but I know. started learning English when um, I was five, so when did you start? I started English when I was uh, 12 years old. Good, wait. Good for him, How? Now. You said you spoke when you were yes, 10. Yes, not oh. in English. Not in <laughs> I thought you are. I know. Exactly. So, uh, may you give feedback, inspiration, something people who are looking and, you know, their eyes are shining. How did, did he get this? You know, you got, you're powerful, you're positive, you're funny. You did that with your hand. It's professional to do that. Uh, you're good. I'm still a beginner presenter. This is, this is called humble, okay? You have to be humble. This is I'm not still a, a beginner presenter, but I'm looking forward to uh, being here loads and loads of other times with laying out some more, you know, uh, topics for you guys. But for now, I'm pleasanted with what I've done. Okay, I'll ask you one question. How did you get into this? Is it public speaking? Is it English? Uh, first, my first inspiration was Mr. Hussam's Club Pathos. Okay, uh, give him a Oh, wow. And? Uh, well, and also some YouTubers, which do say that word. <laughs> but I don't say it, don't worry. Exactly, yeah. It's not the right place. Thank you so much for your answers. You're and uh, keep being humble, you know. Thanks. Mashallah, great. Do you guys have some questions? Because I got a lot of questions, guys. I would like to jump. That I one, just... that one, that one. It's the first time I actually touch my microphone. Oh, hey. wow, that's so Hello. good. So, I'd like to say that you are very, like, inspiring and amazing. I'm, I'm speechless, okay? You're Thanks. like a teacher for us. I, I can learn from you. I mean, so, the teacher is just a student of the last teacher. Because yes. it's student, then master, then master, then student, then student, then master. Because there's no student, there's no master. We all know something about something. We, we all have a significant amount of knowledge, like I said, that no one does. No, no one does. Like, do I know what happens in your family? No, I don't. But you do. That's so deep. Wow. It is. Uh, I would like to thank you for the tips and advice that you gave us to learn, like, listen and speak and I actually forgot to mention something, okay. which is that if you want to see more of me, like he has a radio, he has a YouTube channel, and do you have anything? I have a club. <laughs> <laughs> you have a club. So I have a YouTube channel too and an Instagram. So they're right there. Thanks. I, I would like to ask you to do something. Sure. Since you are an expert in public speaking, let's call you this. I, I'm Can, not an expert yet. I'm calling you this. <laughs> so sure. take it. Can you evaluate my speech and give me like a specific tips and advice? From okay, so first of all, if I don't evaluate it good enough, like he has to evaluate my speeches. Yes. So now the master. student passes the master, that's what I call. No, no, yeah. no, he still passes me. I'm not that, I'm not there yet. Oh, wow. <laughs> Almost there. So uh, your speech was great. I can't evaluate it because we didn't all have the same topic. 
but it was great. You spoke very well. Uh, do you want? Uh, I want you to give me your <laughs> you, Everything was great and well. That's what I gotta say. What about like? Come on. Uh, your body language was good. Uh, your eye contact was perfect. And I forgot to do something that uh, I was taught. It was the W. What is this? It's when you look, at it. well, it doesn't work like here. You have to be like, higher in the crowd, ha crowd has to be way far. Because you do this when you speak to the crowd. Is there an M or a W? I'm out. So it's, it's not like me, this. it's him, by the way. <laughs> MashaAllah. Wow. Amazing. Thank you Thanks. very much. That's really Thank incredible. You. That's yeah. one of the most amazing shows that I've ever seen in my life. You're so adorable. And if you guys have some questions, because this time I'm going to jump straight into it. Do you have some questions? You got a question, right? I've got a, a little kid over there. Can you see him? He's there. Hello, Omar. kid. Omar. Hi. Yeah. Yes. Hi, kid. Come, come, come. He has oh, a question. Oh, wow. He's coming so fast. <laughs> Good morning. Thanks. He has a question. I'm gonna. I'm talking on his behalf. He said, "How did you learn English?" Uh, okay. So yeah, I'm gonna translate that. Huh? I'm gonna say it. So, okay. So first, before I learned English, I only knew Arabic and some French. So, do you know any other language but Arabic? Is that Muzabit accent? Oh wow, that's an amazing thing. Okay, idea. that's good. Um. So you, well, it, it'll be easier for you when you're a kid like you. You should take the opportunity and learn English right now before you grow up. No offense. <laughs> and well, how I learned English? Study, work hard, study hard, and play hard. <laughs> play hard. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. And well, see how I learned English. My mom and my parents helped me. And when we went to the United States of America, uh, I started, was I was trying to get into school early because I was five years old, but they didn't accept that. You know the rules there, you have to be six or over. Here, you can go f straight away, first grade and five years old. They don't care about you. <laughs> <laughs> and well, See, I was five years old. I had to wait for like two months to go back into school or more. So my mom and dad took charge of teaching me the basics. And then after, you know, uh, YouTube appeared because it was 2014. It was, uh, all, it was all YouTube and clickbaiting. It was cat videos. <laughs> and uh, I used YouTube after learning the basics. And it helped me a lot. Don't watch that. <laughs> and well, I used to watch FGTV and loads of other cool channels mm -hmm. uh, because, well, they gave me knowledge on something I didn't know. Because sometimes they did gaming and I liked gaming. Sometimes they did experiments and I like experiments. Sometimes they actually spoke about their selves and want to know what other people have in mind. And I developed like that until I went to, to school. They gave me a test to see uh, if I am grade A, grade B, grade C, or grade D. Grade D needs learning. Grade C is good, good enough. Grade uh, D, uh, sorry, B is good. And grade A is excellent. So. They gave me a test, and surprisingly, I aced it. Uh, and they said his student would be happy with him, and something like that. <laughs> uh, sorry, his teacher would be happy with him. Uh, and then I started going into school where we learned Spanish, which I wish I had learned there because uh, we they taught us English and Spanish. Well, I forgot Spanish because my surroundings. And also you need to keep close uh, of, of your surroundings because you need to be surrounded by people who can acknowledge you, they can give you knowledge and you give back. And 
Well, you see, I studied there for about six months, then we had to come back here. And the hard part, uh, well, since I didn't have any friends there in school, I only had, like, my dad's friends had uh, kids, and I only, like, played them. Since I didn't have a lot of friends in school, it was easy for me to like, go back to my uh, state and my country, my beloved country, Algeria. And, well, the hard part was to keep the language here, since no one here maintains it uh, a lot, except for maybe everybody here. And <laughs> so it was kind of hard for you. OK, I'm going to have to stand up for this. I'm sick of sitting. So it's hard for you to keep the language when no one can help you keep it. That's why social media is an important part in our lives. Now, the one like social media, how would we, we know about Jadua Talk? All right, yeah. Yeah, how do we know about anything? That's right. Yeah, social media is, has an importance now. Like all three of them said, we, uh, we, it's better in the age. We're better now. We have technology, thank goodness. And it's great that it impacts on us with a good, very well influence. Yeah. Social media is great. So you should use social media, but under the accounts of your parents, like just like me, because you don't want to run into trouble. <laughs> <laughs> and you see, the way that you could keep your language, no matter what language you speak, is just by social media. Oh, wow. That's so great. Thank you so much for this blown away. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, I you can keep in touch. And if you want to learn more about English, here's my YouTube channel and here's my Instagram. You didn't tell me that. You didn't tell me it's that. It's behind you. Come on. I didn't see that. Oh, wow. The guy is so talented. I would like that's actually to ask thought. if that's possible uh, for the mom and the dad in the common stage, if that's possible, especially the mom to tell us about how she Okay, first gets... of all, I'm gonna say the answer and it will be no. She can speak from there. Oh, she's coming. Oh yeah, she's brave, you see? My dad doesn't like to. Nope. The mom is more closer, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, because basically... I saw her before and she was like, whoa, my son! And I was like, wow, <laughs> this mom is so amazing. I've never seen one like that. <laughs> well, see, my dad doesn't like to be in public because he is secretive. He's Assassin's Creed. He's amazing. <laughs> Hello, Mom. Thank you. I'm speaking English. It's okay. <laughs> wow, it's so good. By the way, <clears throat> what language do you want, Google? Arabic. Arabic. Wow. Well, uh, I understand very good. You can try. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. Okay. Well, uh, I would like to ask you a question. I don't know why I'm jumping to English again. How did you keep him? Oh my God, you see the English? If you speak English, oh my goodness, come yes. on, man. It's really hard. If you see my stage right now, I'm just trying to jump, and English is like, come on, man. You want to put me away now? <laughs> Uh, well, first of all, my question is, how uh, do you English and how uh, do you speak English in the world? I just wanted to help my children to help me with this and then I went to the food, 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 the ما قرأتش في اللي كل مين تعرف تسبيك لبس الحمد لله. أوه. What's her name? رانيا. رانيا. Come on, Rania. Can you just come to the stage? Yeah, I see. I see your excitement on the face. So you just come. She's so excited. Come on. Hi. Do I have to sing for us to come to the stage? Yeah, I would do that. Rania is amazing. She's coming to the stage. 
Rania is amazing. Sai. She's coming to the stage. Okay, my voice is really. Mm. Oh wow, she's, she's coming. She's so shy. Uh, yeah. Lidi had him in Jetney. La city on Kuna Sakin, Yave Mekteba, library. Hadik Yeli has it in Halfi Crack and we do free, gratuit, Lepti Hakai, my little Maman, Idirul Hum, come in charge, like Idirul Hum, the Desai, Idirul Hum, Shul. حويت هكا يعاونهم باش يتعلموا دي يمروا لهم لي زانيم وهكذا هكذا جاتني في الدار حبيت نابليكي هذ الحاجه في الدار الوغ نديرها ترافيغ التلفزيون ندير درت كومي درت هاو هاو How to learn English for kids for kids okay specifically for kids so everybody anyone who has kids should do that now And uh, the name of the school was Running Brook. Mm -hmm. uh, so it was great. The school is just a normal, ordinary school. And it's so convenient that the first language she picked up was English. She didn't know Arabic. She only knew English back yes. then. Yes. So yes. she can speak, right? Yes. Yeah, oh, but wow. she's shy. Come on. <clears throat> okay, come on. Be brave, be brave. <laughs> oh, wow. I know everybody's like, I want to have a kid like this one. Yeah. That's why you should get contacts, guys. <laughs> come on, come on, just, just come down. Her name is Rania, right? She's so, so shy. She's about to turn into a tomato. Okay. Rania, can you just come in here? I would, I would like to shake hands with you. Can, can I just do that? Yes, okay. thank you. God, thank you so much. Oh my God, you're so amazing. <laughs> Look at these incredible people. Look, look at the cameras. Look at these incredible people. Oh my God, you see? Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much, mashallah. So good to see that. So guys, if you have any questions for the mom, well, this is a great question. This is a great, this is a great chance. I think they're all shy too. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, we got okay. We got one there? Yeah. What, is, what is that? Come on to the stage, bro. <laughs> Give him the mic if that's possible from there. He's like, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Yeah. This is the same guy, actually. He's, I know. He's, I he's know. the same guy who came in the stage before. I know. Before. That's why I and He's really excited not about, only by you, even for the family. Wow. I see. <laughs> Two pack again. Uh, well, I was over there, so I didn't know what's going on here. Uh, so, is this your mom? Yes. Uh, I thank the dad, but I didn't thank the mom. So I thank you so much. And uh, I will tell you the same thing I tell the dad. Uh, you guys are so blessed. MashaAllah. Thank, thank you so much. Oh, wow. Yeah, I see, I see. I see everybody is like clinching. الوالد تاعو كان كي يدخل الدار دي فوا هكذا يقول لي يشوفني مقري في هكذا يقول لي اه راح زعما يقدر قلت له بيان دغا لو جوغ وين تا كيعود يهضر ما تفهموش اي سي فغي فات عام فات شهر بليتو لبتي بدا كل ساعه ساعه يمد له امو هو يروح يجري الديكسيون ناخذ <تصفيق> كل مرة هكذا حتى دو موا هكذاك بخاسك دو موا ما شاء الله اوه oh, واو wow. and it's so good to see like such kids having uh, such platforms like this imagine if we didn't have like Jedwa talks or something like that we wouldn't have like these kids you see so uh, that's really great I would like to appreciate all the efforts yeah yes. that's so amazing and I'm giving you time actually to prepare for your question but it didn't go <laughs> Salut tout le monde, j'espère que vous allez bien. Bon, je ne vais pas parler en anglais, par contre. Ok, anglophobe, désolé, je rigole. Donc voilà, euh, je n'ai pas une question, mais plutôt un souhait. Euh, J'aimerais bien que, je, 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 suis, je suis sûr et certain qu'un jour, votre enfant va trouver euh, ici en Algérie des difficultés pour euh, promouvoir, pour progresser. Donc, c'est que vous ferez euh, de votre mieux le garder ici en Algérie. D'accord C'est mon seul souhait, parce que euh, j'ai peur que ce, que ce gars-là, un jour, il a du potentiel, ça se voit. 
euh, je l'ai vu avant à Polytechnique, il a, dans un événement de Worlds, il était formidable. Du coup, c'est mon seul souhait. Voilà, merci. Exactly, yeah, that's what we're looking for through this yes. stage. Not only kids, but... I'll tell you something, guys. Yeah, I'll tell you something. We were born to have four talented, amazing kids. Do you like watch Steve Harvey and Ellen shows and these American talk shows? We have, like, come on. There were like four kids who have been invited to come to this program, but they couldn't come. So we gave Muhammad the stage to do that. And I think if we had those four kids, I don't know how long we would stay because that's only one kid and we also have more kids in Algeria and that's what we should appreciate. We have talents, but having the platform, having the people like you appreciate that is actually the thing. And uh, thank you so much for making it happen because you were the greatest reason You're of welcome. that. welcome. Yeah. What? You got a question? Sure. Yeah, okay. Oh, wow. You know, the previous speakers are like really jealous. Come on, I didn't have such questions before. What's happening? Has the time changed? Has the vibe changed? I don't know what's I don't happening. Think jealous, bro. Oh, wow. I don't think jealous because they share the same greatness. So, you know, oh, wow. you won't be jealous of someone great. Madam, I have been sick. Okay. Do you allow me? I speak English, but do you allow me to ask that? Yeah, you can. Okay. Madam, I have been sick. Until Madam Toko, you may have been sick. You are pretty lucky. You are going great. واش تنصحي لي مامو اللي راهم قاعدين في الدار مع ولادهم دي فوا يديروا تليفون قبل يروحوا لعب على روحك دي فوا سي كونتر جوستومون مادام ما انا ما ضرش في كونتر ما ربيتوش باش نبدلو التليفون يضيع اكزاكتو مادام انا حابك مادام دوكا مادام كاين هاد الماده اون ديفيزي لي مسجله تندي دي كونساي بور لي مامو باش يخرجوا ليدهم باست ريزا باتس اول حاجه لامور تحبي ابنك هذه حاجه اللي تخرج منها بزاف هذه الحاجة الأولى. الله يحبك مع بعض. God bless you. Everybody is gonna cry as well. I see that in your eyes. She can't. She's amazing. Give her a round of applause. Give her a round of applause. Well, I know what she would say since I'm her son and she would say don't ever let him alone uh, outside because if he has brothers let him play with his brothers because his influence is his surroundings. You know you keep talking that your mother gonna keep crying so you better let her okay, okay. pick up okay. Thank God you. bless you. God bless you, mom. You're good, you're good. I love you, you're good. Tani Hadja had the tablet, what was the conseil for his enfant? And now, for moi, he had the Helmichli who she communicated, Mac. Lesson did how it had Rima, how Rima, two few she arfs me arfs, Sahilo Galta Teo, either can Galat, the Fiddy Pasco Debbie may Kuncha Yarf and Fay Blanche. تعاوني قدر المستطاع وتدي تعطي له وقت كافي ليه ماشي غير الخدمه تاع الدار ولا البرا ولا حتى لونفون عنده وقت باش تحوسي عليه يكبر ويكون حاجه يفيد بها روحه وولاده وحياته المستقبل تاعو لازم تعطي له وقت كافي باش باش ونحن you got a question. Wow. That's so amazing. We got somebody who would like to ask a question. Yeah, here it is. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. 
Madame, vraiment, vraiment, vraiment. Félicitations à vous et son père. Premièrement. Merci. Premièrement. Deuxièmement, son, euh, ton fils, il est quel âge euh, 11 ans. Il est quel âge Ah, 11 ans. C'est la Ramsa. Ah, non. Ramsa. Ramsa. C'est la Ramsa. C'est la Ramsa. C'est la والله فيرم مزيم يعني امي يعني امي امي ريت باش نعود نشوف ولادنا هكذايا سيرتو سيرتو اون سو مومون نسحقوا بزاف لونغلي دركا اكثر من فرونسي لا غالب يعني زدنا هنا في الجزائر من شفنا عيني يعني عينينا كي حليناهم في المسيد حليناهم مع مع لون فرونسي دونك يعني الفرونسي سي سي فريمون مينيم يعني افيك شحال كلك بيي في 4 او 5 بيي لا مي تبقوا فيها حنا كنا مستعمرين لا غالب Mais donc, لازم 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 لونغلي اي لونغلي pour le le monde. Il veut le monde. Donc, يعني صارت لي حاجه انا هنايا. درت كوريسبوندونس بار بار تركيا. يعني راني راح للمدينه ربي تقبل عليك يا لينا ان شاء الله والعقبه لكم ان شاء الله. Alors تما عرفت يعني قيمه تاع لونغلي. يهضر معك غير لونغلي ما يهضرش معك الفرنسي ما يحبوهاش ما يعرفوهاش مام في مام في زايربور. Le, 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 le simple, simple exemple, qui dit des euh, 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 en correspondance, tu as vu que 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 tu as vu I think somebody went up first before you, but do you give him the chance to get the mic? Do you know me? Uh, <laughs> last uh, Thursday, maybe, I sent him a message. <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, I told him, uh, hi, Mohammed. He responds, how are you? Uh, he, he didn't uh, reply to me. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, after two 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 day, he, he replied to me, "Hi," and uh, I told him, "How are you?" He told me, "I'm good. Sorry if I didn't reply because I have exam next week. Keep in touch, brother. Uh, you, my dad, does not allow me to use any social media. Now have a great night." Yeah. Wow! Wow! <laughs> See you later. Is that what it is? There is no like private messages or something you would like to know about? Oh wow! Thank you. That's fair. <laughs> that's perfect. Believe me, that's per really perfect. Yeah, that's that's super fair, perfect. Somebody else had a question before. Oh, you had a question? No, somebody in the back. Yeah. I mean, he's closed. You can ask another question again. The mic is closed. That's an advantage. Hello, Mohammed. You are great. You are fantastic. Thank you. I've, uh, you, didn't huh? you didn't say that to me. You didn't say that to me. Positive. I had asked you myself, uh, what's your dream? After 10 years, where, where would you be? Uh, sorry, I didn't hear the question. Okay, I will repeat. Uh, I have wondered, uh, what's your dream? After 10 years, uh, where From would now. you be? Okay, so I have a dream that one day I'd grow up finding Algeria at one of the top countries in the world. And that's because Algeria isn't recognized. Only like Switzerland is recognized for its green grass or, or America is recognized for its rules and everything. But Algeria is not that recognized. Wow. Now everybody's blasting questions. <laughs> oh, wow, yeah. It's, the, the ice is broken. Yeah, that's the next level. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Hi. First of all, Hi. I want to thank the mom and uh, you. I don't want to say kids, but you are think I big. I am a kid. It's okay. No, you aren't, actually. So, I want to marry you. كيف حافظت على سيرورة تعلمه الدائمة مع العلم أنه طفل ولا يمكن أن أن يثبت على مسار واحد للتعلم فربما نعرف أنه طفل فأكيد سيشعر أو 
لا يريد احيانا ان يتعلم كيف حافظت على على تلك السيروره في تعلمه وشكرا أه الحمد لله هذا بفضل ربي الحمد لله نحن نشكره نحمد فضله أه ساعدني الوالد تاعو سي أه سيغ أه كنت ديما راه ديما نعسوه منظمين له وقته ثاني هو ديجا يحب بزاف الجيم ناوي نهضر لكم عليهم بزاف أه نعطوه يتفرج مي بصح عنده وقت محدد ما ما not more than half an hour the guy want to be specific that's so good thank you that's it thank you so much for the question yes Ahmed we had we had another يتفرج ثاني عنده دي شان يتفرجهم Uh, I have a simple question to Mohammed. Uh, don't you think that uh, learning how to think in English is very important to English learners? I'm sorry, I didn't understand the first part. The first, the first part. part, yeah. To uh, learning how to think in English. How to think in English? In English. Is, okay. It's very important to English learners, much than uh, learning just uh, from It videos is. or. Okay, so. All right. I just wanted to say, how to think in English? Is, you can't think in a language. You think what you think. Like you say, you're in math class, and you're thinking. You, you could, would you say ten divided by two or عشرنا قسمتين? It's the same result. So no matter what what language you think, you get the same result. Uh, but you don't speak the same way. And uh, for English learners, how to think in English is not that important. It's how to listen, speak, write, and read in English. That's what's important. You're welcome. So concise. Perfect. Okay, uh, she wanted to ask a question. Yeah, the girl with the... Yeah. Uh, Mr. Mohammed, I have a question. Sir, by, by the way, tr please don't embarrass me. Sure. Right? Yeah, so I want to ask you first uh, about what are your daily tasks? Uh, what do you do in your daily life? This is, your first, this is the first question for you. And then the second question is for your mom. I don't know what are you doing. I want you to give out the secret or the audience want to know about your secret. يعني الجمهور حاب يعرف السكر يعني وش راك ديري له كل يوم؟ اسكو تخليه يلعب برا؟ نو يقعد في الدار وش يدير؟ جوستومون فوالا باسكو لي بارون بزاف يسقسيو على هذه اسكو صح ولادهم يدخلوا لهم لي زيكول يقراو يتو مي واش يدير له داخل الدار؟ كيف يحافظ على الموهبه الموهبه هذيك سيرتو ما مش عارف اسكو يلعب مع دي كيدز يهضروا فرونسي ولا عرب ولا كيف هو يدير؟ This is the question so Mr. محمد in a brave brave yeah uh, time Let us know about your daily task. Thank you very much. Uh, sorry, I forgot the first question. Uh, oh, sorry, yeah. sorry. So the first question is, He what, said, what, you know what do you mean? do in your uh, okay. daily life? He might change the question. So huh? you see, you can't program your day because you don't know what's going to happen in it. First of all, you got to say what you want to do and then do what you want to do. You gotta think it through. Then, when the day goes smoothly, smoothly, and you you're like on road, you don't know what could happen. So you should always be prepared in your day, and that's what making bonds is for. So you gotta go to the hair, uh, the you gotta have a haircut, and there's nobody there. You can just call your friend; he'll do you a haircut. You say your car uh, is busted. You call your friend. He's a bus driver. That's what bonds are for. That's why you have to prepare your daily life. And uh, here's my mom's uh, answer. Oh wow! Thank you so much. Thank you. على لي زامي تقول اسكو يخرج يلعب برا ما يخرجش بزاف في الغياب يعني في الصح الصح مي يلعب مع كي يخرج برا نونفون لا غالب هذه ما نحيشوش الحقوق تاعو مي مي يخرج بزاف يعني بزاف يهضر بالعربيه برا لا غالب ما كانش مع 
يس اوه واو والداخل في الدار راني قلت لكم ديجا من قبل يشوف مع باباه بوكو بليس لي روبورتاج بيان وعنده في اليوتيوب يشوف واحد لهذوك اسمهم Uh, FGTV, there's Master Self, there's Brit Swinger, Baron Von Games. I use social media to benefit from it and not to get the bad stuff into my brain. Because you use social media, what was social media used for? If now, if the person who made internet was here now and he sees the bad stuff in social media, he'll shut down his progress, he, everything he has. ما لقيتش كلوب هكذا يهضر فيها باغ تاع مسيو حسام حسام هو ما بوكو يدي نقول لك نقول له ميرسي بوكو نايس هذا هو الحل اللي لقيتو نديتو يس يو سراوند يور سيلف ويذ ويذ ان انفايرمنت لينغويستيك انفايرمنت تو براكتيس يور انجلش ذات سو كول يو هاد ا لوت اوف كويشنز بس اي ديدنت اسك ماي باي ذا واي اوكي تشوز ا نمبر فروم 1 تو 15 تشوز ا نمبر فروم 1 تو 15 يس Four. Question number four for the mom or for the kid? Me. For you. Okay, that was your mom's choice. Say your number. Uh, six. Six? Okay, oh wow. Uh, question number six, what inspires you the most? It's well, one. that's an easier question. What inspires me the most is my parents and the people who help me in my daily life, like Hussam, the presenters here, uh, you, Thank you so much. That's the first guy to say something good about me. Thank you so much. And loads yeah. of people inspire me in my daily life because they give me knowledge that I can use through our daily life. So my dad gives me knowledge when we watch football. My mom gives me knowledge when we go to studies and like that. MashaAllah. Wow. Now the next question for the mom. Mom, can you just choose another number? Because the fourth one is a little bit. Oh, right. Three. Three? Oh, wow. The third is so, the third is the creepiest. Okay, uh, question number three. Uh, question number three. <laughs> Can I just ask you the question? Who is the most inspirational person to you? <laughs> Who is the most inspirational person to you? Uh, Oprah. Oprah Winfrey, why is that? That's a good choice. Oh, what, is it, uh, what is it, Oprah Winfrey? تعجبني تعجبني الكاركتر تاعها الهضره كيفاش تهضر او واو اتس لايك بوراكا اوباما بس فيميل ستايل او واو او واو ثانك يو سو ماتش ثانك سو لوت ويل وير بارن كات اوف بس كلاب يور هاندز فور اور جريت اميزنج جيست ثانك يو سو ماتش اوكي سو I hope you guys have built up your appetite because we've brought some stuff to eat at the back. You guys oh, wow. can go right there and eat and have a bon appetit. Oh.